Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to a, another episode of the Crypto Millionaire Journey. Happy New Year to all out there. Thanks again for tuning into the cast. Um, well, it is looking like Bitcoin is making that run again. Uh, as far as the market goes, it's been pretty... Pretty predictable, I would say, in the last, I don't know, maybe month or so. Uh, we've had these little runs where we get up to, like, I would say, anywhere from about, what, 7,600. Uh, we'll get all the way up there, then you'll see these dips. And you've seen Bitcoin go as low as, like, what, 69, 68? Uh, somewhere around that range. And um, it's been kind of tough uh, as far as trading goes, uh, since there hasn't been a lot of movement within the market. Um, but there again, there's still always opportunities to you know make money even when sideways. And and we've been like I said, we've been in this uh, bear market for some from some, for some time now. And some think that we could go on a run. Some are thinking that you know we can hit another bottom. Uh, as far as my personal opinion goes, um, it's kind of hard to say because I have a feeling like, you know, Bitcoin could go on a on a run where, you know, we might reach like, you know, what, 9, 10 K and then maybe fall off again. Um, as far as the bottom goes, I feel like the bottom uh it was around the 3000 range, but some are thinking that once this halving is done, some are thinking that we can go back to maybe like the thousand dollar range. And I feel like that's just some people being selfish and praying that it can go back down to that price range so they can get a lot. Um, but then again, like I said, if it does go down, um, I'm comfortable now to the point where it's like, all right, well. I'll just take the crypto output and stable coin and you know as it continues to decline and reach you know different bottoms you know that's when I'll you know re-enter you know hodl it for a little bit see see what happens and then uh go ahead and you know sell off and do it all over again uh for example uh, I bought some what bitcoin on uh what was it Thursday, if I'm not mistaken? And I'm using the Voyager app to trade with. And uh, the Voyager app is a pretty cool app. It's uh, actually commission free. So you can trade commission free. It's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> if you're a trader, it's like I said, it's pretty nice, especially with that commission free. Um, but, you know, <clears throat> I'm looking at today, and, you know, Bitcoin's up. What? All the way about 75, 7500, 7520, around that range. I'm already at a you know plus seven percent. So I've already made thirty bucks literally within what maybe I don't know three days, three four days. Some yeah, if I'm not mistaken, it's about three four days because today is the fifth. So yeah, three days, three days, folks, three days time. Yeah, it dropped to 69. I was like, oh, yeah. I've, I've, I've seen this play before. You know, when you watch the market as much as I do, you know, you can start predicting certain things. And you know where, all right, you can put in right here. And you know that, hey, you'll, you'll get a nice little return. We're talking about quick return, man. 7%, bro, within three days. I hope some people are like actually <laughs> really putting that into perspective of the fact that you could make seven percent in three days just from like li literally buying it and hodling it. Uh, 
Uh, there's also Litecoin. I mean, look at Litecoin. Litecoin right now is forty-two dollars, forty-four dollars. It's like, bro, it's going back up again. This thing was down at thirty-eight, thirty-nine. And it was just at like sixty, eighty bucks not too long ago. Because right now the market cap is at what two hundred one billion. Uh, it's about seventy billion going through it's in the twenty-four hour volume. Ethereum's at what one thirty-nine, one forty. Uh, EOS, EOS is down. EOS is a good one as well. EOS was just like at four bucks. Um, Tron's got some movement, a little bit. Tron's been, I feel like Tron's been stagnant. Neo's kind of going back up. Um, Iota is up. I mean, Iota's up three percent today. Ontology going back up. Ontology is another one. Right now it's at fifty-seven cents. Man, I think it was at a dollar, what, not too long ago. Um, Qualm's pretty cheap. Qualm's at, what, $1.67. And I've seen that at easily $3, $4 range. Uh, let me just go. I mean, KuCoin shares are $1.09. I mean, yo, I might have to buy some KuCoin shares. Nano's at 67%, man. I mean, sorry, 67 cents. It threw me off so much, I couldn't even pronounce it correctly. Uh, did you buy? Did you buy, man? Cheap. And a part of me wants to get some Digibuy just for the fact that it's so cheap right now. But I know it can easily go back to like being like a penny, three cents. Um, so that's one that's going to probably be when I watch hard same thing with Electronium I know Electronium is not even like at a penny right now and it's it's like whoo it's kind of like mmm I might have to go ahead and just do that because Electronium man that thing got up to 20 what 24 cents if I'm not mistaken so the, there's a lot of opportunities man like Sia coin Icon Icon's at 11 cents um, Steam is at sheesh. Steam's at twelve cents. Yikes! I mean, yeah, look, look, see, now electronics going down even more. I think, yeah. I'm trying to see if I can find the fifty-two week high here because it's just. It's really interesting. I mean, last 90 days, it's been pretty ugly. And it's at the price right now where it's like, you know what? This is probably one of the lowest lows you can get it at. And that's a coin, man. You can easily hollow that, hollow that for like, what, maybe a year or so? Probably returning you back like what six figures easily. Um, but that's something that again you gotta pay attention, gotta take notes, you know, because the market man, market's constantly, constantly changing. That's why I was when you have all these people that are involved in the crypto space, and it's not even a lot of people that's the. That's the funny part about it. It's not a lot of people that are involved in space right now. But as far as where I think the market is potentially heading, mm, I would have to say that it's headed in the direction where we'll see a lot more bad days and I mean, a lot more good days and bad days, I should say. I think trading will be opening up a little bit more where you can get those swing daily trades um because it's been a struggle for me as far as doing the whole trading with especially with my using my robot because you know with all these we have these ups and we have these downs and it was really like no consistent movement within the market where it was like all right 
I have confidence that I can get some easy daily trades, make some quick profits here and there. But man, it's like, whew. But again, you know, learning from experience, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have done that being a uh, new trader, new investor, whichever one you want to use. But, you know, it's just the adjustments that you make along the way, they they come back and they they really help out, especially when it comes to why when finding these programs where stable coins are actually can be somewhat useful um because i look at stable coins as you know like the dollar like the yen or whatever i look at it as you know the equivalent to cash and how we use cash for banks and all that you know you know i'm not a fan of the banks but i'm looking at stable coins like all right that's new dollar. That's new cash. You know, because all of them are pegged back to the dollar, anyways. Um, and now there's interest, APR percentages where they're they're high, and they're higher than your normal average bank high. I mean, high yield savings. Like I don't. I mean, I know there's some high yield savings out there, but. Mm, <laughs> I don't know, man. If you compare them to some of the savings you can get, interest rates you can get, as far as in the crypto space, it's just, it's hard to beat it. I mean, right now, through the MCO Crypto Earn program, I'm, what, that's 12%? I think it's 12 or 10% I'm currently earning on my money. And it's like, wow. And it's a three month term. Three month lock it up. Ten percent boom. And all that interest that's coming in every weekly and <laughs> every week I should say. Like you can play with that stuff. Like it's money you can just take out, spend it, or reinvest it, do whatever you want to do, but get paid weekly, yeah. I mean, that's just uh the power behind that is amazing. So now I've actually found different ways where I can use stable coins and still earn on them. Constantly having my money just work. It's to a point where my money is not sleeping. It's constantly, constantly doing something. It's a great feeling, man. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's a great feeling. Great feeling. No, I can sleep, go to bed, wake up, just a little bit richer. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Not a lot, but just a little bit. But there's gonna be a time where it's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be times where I, where I wake up and I might make like maybe like five, ten racks in the night. But see, a lot of people don't like. A lot of people when I tell you these numbers and I say. Or explain some things to them. They're just like. Nah it's not possible man. A lot of people. Don't believe until they see it. See I already. I already got the vision for it. I've already seen it. I've seen what it's doing. So I'm confident in it. I don't really care what other people think. I do my own research. So. When I say I'm gonna be making money every day, and it's gonna be so ridiculous just because the fact that, like, yo, like, again, some of these gains, these profits, you, you just can't do it. In I don't think you do. I don't think it's possible to do it in the stock market right now. I'm sorry, that's just my personal opinion, man. Because I'm talking about like you can earn like 40, 50 percent a month on your money, like, bro, like. Those numbers are astronomical. Unheard of. Who's giving those type of returns? Like, who? What banks? Hmm? It's funny, man. So I was on Twitter the other day. 
and uh, someone had tweeted about, oh, they're using their bravado, and apparently, I guess they, I guess they raised the the withdrawal limit or something on cash or whatever. So the person was really hot. I replied back, you know, hey, Bitcoin don't matter. There is no minimum withdrawal. It's, Im- it's immediate every time. And if there is a minimum withdrawal, I think it might be like five bucks. But and then you know, two people reply back. They're like, "Oh yeah, fuck Bitcoin." I'm just like, "Hey man, I guess." But you're over here complaining about not being able to get your money immediately. Like, <laughs> like, bro, like it's insane. If you actually really think about that like this dude was complaining and mad about the fact that he couldn't get his money immediately because they raised the withdrawal limits and they didn't tell him so he's mad he can't get his own money yet he want to say f bitcoin where if he was using bitcoin he can get his money immediately <laughs> And it's like stuff like that, man. That's how I just know people are just. Some people just are, I don't think are meant to get it. And people look at me crazy, like, man, why are you watch the market every day, dude? Why not? It's, why are you making opportunities every day? Every single day. <laughs> I just think every single day, but it's like, she's sheesh. Yeah, I realize, man, again, I keep harping on it. There's a limited supply of all these coins. Limited supply. If you don't get them now, I'm telling you you're going to regret it later. And I'm thinking that crypto is going to create some new type of wealth that I don't think we've seen, man. Like, it's... It's actually really scary to see what's going to happen in the future. Because I know the generation behind me, man. They learning about it. They know about it. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens in the next decade. Because I was looking at the last decade from where Bitcoin was and is now. And it's just, it's stupid. It's literally stupid. Like 2010, it was like, you know, a couple change, not even much. And here it is, 10 years later, just 6,000, 7,000. All time high, 20 racks. It's like, that's just 10 years with the coin, the technology, the technology, man, I'm telling you. Again, that's where people get caught up. They, don't, they just look at it as a money. Saying it has no utility. Like, bro, you can use Bitcoin literally whatever, wherever. Wherever. For anything. No limits. There's, that's funny. There's no limits on Bitcoin. But there's limits on your, on your funds, on your cash. I find that I find that very weird. I, I don't like it. People put their trust into banks. Crypto allows you to be on your own bank, man. Like I'm really my own bank. It's a great feeling. Great feeling. So as far as what to really look forward to, as far as some of the episodes that are to come, I found some platforms, y'all, that. Again, it's crypto. It's gonna be scary, man. It's gonna be scary. When it gets massively adopted, because again, some of these platforms, it's so easy just to make money. <laughs> like, and that's the thing—you don't gotta invest anything; just your time, time, your effort. What you normally do on a day-to-day basis when it comes to other platforms, but 
not seeing any type of return. You got all the ROI potential in the world when it comes to different crypto platforms. And the technology is just getting more and more advanced. And it's like, wow. What's going to happen next? As it evolves. Continues to evolve. I'm telling you, man. It's going to be a point where you can make, like I said, the, the, the new generational wealth that you'll be able to obtain through crypto it's gonna be scary. Scary. But that's really gonna wrap it up for today's episode, man. We got some things cooking. Make sure you continue to watch Mark Man, because I'm kinda curious to see what's gonna happen in the next couple of days. You know, Bitcoin right now is at seventy five hundred. I'm curious to see what can it hit eight K? Can Bitcoin hit 8K and continue to go, or or we see like a bump in the road and we go back down? But I appreciate everybody tuning in. You know, this journey is it's a fun one, man. I enjoy it, despite the fact that you know a lot of people hate on it, but I embrace it. I love it. I know what's going to do for me. I, I've seen what it's done for me. And I tell people, do your due diligence, man. Do your own research. Because there's, <laughs> there's some pretty interesting stuff, man. Not just that. It helps. It educates you on certain things. That's nothing. When, when you learn about crypto, you learn how to really manage money. You learn things that they didn't teach you. But until the next time, y'all, to the next episode of the Crypto Millionaire Journey, that's going to wrap it up for your boy. As you know me as the Wolf of Crypto, Duke, you know, whatever you like to call me. But until next time, y'all, take care.